afternoon, Phoenix. Welcome to the Dr. Fitness Show on 550 KFYI. I'm Lance Dreyer, Dr. Fitness, former Mr. America, Mr. Universe twice from the 1980s, life coach, nutritionist, inductee in the National Fitness Hall of Fame 2019. Give you a good idea of my age, right? Hmm. I'm not a... Stop laughing in there. Don't make fun of my age. Anyhow, welcome to the show. 68, proud of it, and I'm here to give you information to help hopefully make some lifestyle changes that will help you live a long, enjoyable life. Anyhow, welcome to the show. Phone number 602-260-5394. This is a live show. It's 105 in the afternoon, Saturday. It will replay itself tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. That will not be live. It will be taped from today. Anyhow, I, I talked about berberine and it being the natural alternative to Ozampic last week. And what did I get? People calling me. What was the name of that drug? What was the name of that drug? They're leaving me text. I'm not giving out a name of a drug because it's not a drug, and I'm not going to take my time to say, listen to my show. You will get it from there. It's podcasted. And, and also, we, we, you know, we're, 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 we're probably, in fact, we are, going to have this thing up in YouTube. Okay, we have a camera sitting in here photographing my mug as we talk. Okay, so you'll get a good idea how Dr. Fitness looks. Okay, and it being 68, I look pretty good. For 68, I look pretty good for, for 45, but I wish I had more hair. Anyhow, the phone number here is 602-260-5394. So what do we want to talk about today? Well, it's that time of year. It's cold and flu season. And in uh, COVID season, too, because they lumped that in with it also. So we want to talk about how you boost the immune system. How do you get the immune system functioning more effectively to resist these viruses and bacterial infections and fungal infections, anything that, will, that may make you sick this time of year. And maybe you're one of those people who don't want to get the vaccine or one of those shots. That's me. I'm not putting that stuff in my body. Because the most effective immune system you can have is the one that God gave you. All right? If you get that working right, the chance of you getting sick is minimized. Unfortunately, we live in a, in a society today where being healthy is not necessarily a good thing. It doesn't feed big pharma, who makes a lot of money off the vaccinations and the shots and the drugs that they feed people when they're sick. Here's a good number for you. Did you realize that 33% of all our health care dollars goes to treating diabetes? 33%. That's one-third. We have 37 million diabetics in this country. 37 million. About a little bit more than 10% of the population. But one-third goes to treating diabetics. And 50% of that, of our health care dollar, goes to treating people who are obese. And that's a lifestyle condition. So talking about how to boost the immune system so you don't get sick is, is very, very important. And we know the immune system, the way it works is by we have these white blood cells, and they, they go after infection. That's why most sicknesses are infectious in nature, and that includes cardiovascular disease. Well, these white blood cells go after the infection. What does it do? It protects us. It kills, it, it kills the invader. That's what God designed it to do. But these white blood cells, you know, they're like living creatures inside of you. You know, they find something that's bad in you and it goes after it. Gobble it up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Like Pac-Man. Go after it. So if you keep it running right, it keeps, keeps the sickness at bay so you don't get sick as easily. Or if you do get sick, you get through it easier. But here's something you didn't know. Because this time, they call this cold and flu season. Why is it? It's called holidays. You've got Thanksgiving coming up. That's next month. Then you've got Christmas and New Year's and Hanukkah and all these holidays, you know, coming up this time of year. And what do people do differently this time of year? They eat more of the wrong kinds of foods. They eat more sugar-based carbohydrate foods. And the carbohydrates, the sugar, it's the same thing. There's no difference. Carbohydrates are sugar. 
sugars are carbohydrates. It's just a marketing ploy by big food companies that think you think you're not eating a high sugar diet when it says no sugar added. It's already in it. It's called a carbohydrate. Because all the sugars, these carbohydrates, they're, they're broken down into what we call glucose to be used by the body. And it's glucose that makes your immune system function weirdly. So here, white blood cells, just think of these things, like I said, little Pac-Man. There are all these little critters running around your body, fighting off infection, keeping you from getting sick. Well, they need food too. And they use vitamin C as their food source. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Vitamin C, oh yeah, great stuff. Keeps you from getting colds and all kinds of things. It feeds the white blood cells. Now here's what sugar does. Molecularly, that means very similar structure. Glucose is very similar in structure to vitamin C. In fact, vitamin C is a carbohydrate. Same family. It has the same receptor in these white blood cells for uptake by the, by, the, by the white blood cells, by the immune system for use. And so when you take in carbohydrates, sugar, glucose, it's taken in by the white blood cells much more easily than vitamin C is. It competes with it. So the white blood cells behave weirdly. They like swim around like the drunk. Like you had too much to drink. It's true. So they have a more difficult time fighting infection off. That's why type 2 diabetics, that's the insulin resistance form of diabetes, they get sick more often. That's true. More respiratory problems. They end up in the hospital more often in the flu season. Wounds don't heal when they cut themselves. There we go. It's the diet. Vitamin C can't function properly when you're taking in too many carbohydrates. In fact, just a small load, let's say a baked potato, maybe a piece of bread on the side, you get enough glucose from that to shut the immune system off for five hours or more. So what happens then? You, you get exposed to people that are sick. You get it too because your immune system's not working right. So one of the best ways to keep the immune system functioning is to watch your diet called Eat Less Carbohydrates. Eat like Lance. And I say this very sincerely. Now, I get sick. I don't get sick that often, but when I get sick, I get sick. I don't get colds. I don't get flu. And much of that has to do with my lifestyle, which I talk about a lot on the radio. Because you are in my age group, and I want you to do and enjoy life the same way. So you eat like Lance. This is not hard to do. And this time of year particularly, one of the worst things for you, if you want to interfere with your lifestyle, having fun, enjoying life, seniors, our age group, be sick. Because then you can't do anything. It's more damage control. That's not fun. You can't enjoy life like you can't travel. You can't go visiting friends. You can't if you got grandkids. You can't spend time with grandkids. You're afraid you're going to get get them sick or they're going to get you sick. Eat like Lance. Watch the carb intake. Number here six zero two two six zero five three nine four. Not hard. Here's the offer I'm, I'm making for the next fifteen people who call, text, or or go to my email or my website and send me an email. Next 15 people, if you, in, if you call or text or email me, receive a free consultation. Any one of our Valley affiliates, we have two of them. And if you enroll in our lifestyle program, which includes an exercise routine designed for your aging body, not some 25, 30-year-old. Now, if you're 25, 30 years old, we'll design a program for you. But if you're 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, that program is going to be designed for you. So if you've had joint replacements done, high blood pressure, you're obese, you're diabetic, you've got issues going on that are not addressed in your local gym, the first time you're taking through that workout routine, if you enroll in our program, is at no cost. If you enroll with your trainer 
one-on-one in a private training studio, not your local gym. Then you're on my eating program, my Eat Like Lance plan. And to make you follow up on this, you're sending food journals every day. This might be a pain in the neck, but believe me, it makes you accountable. When someone's looking at what you're eating, you have a tendency to be more honest with yourself and who you're reporting to. So you're on my Eat Like Lance plan, and that accountability goes a long way. Now, when you call, text, or email me, please give me the following information. Your name, your phone number, and the location you'd like to go to. I will be contacting the people who contact me today, this afternoon when, when the show's over. Name, location, and phone number. We have two locations. I'm in Scottsdale. I'm off of Via De Ventura in the 101. I take the whole East Valley. That means Tempe, Carefree, I mean Tempe, Carefree, Cave Creek, Fountain Hills, Paradise Valley, all right, Chandler, Gilbert, you know where I'm going, Mesa, all those cities, okay, Awatuki, all the way down to Tucson. Greg's in the West Valley. He's off of 71st Avenue, Bell Road, right next to the Arrowhead Mall. He takes that whole section of town all the way up to Prescott, all the way out to the White Tank Mountains, okay? So name, I need your name, your phone number, and location. If you go to my website, here's how you do it, zoomlance.com. Zoomlands.com. Go to the contact page, send me an email, and we'll make sure you get to the right location. Here's the phone number. Next 15 people who call, text, or email me. 623-225-8157. 623-225-8157. I'll say it two more times. 623-225-8157. One more time. 623 623- 225-8157. Be prepared for the unprepared, which is if you're going to get sick, sick. If you're more healthy or more fit, you'll get through it. This is a cold and flu season. Don't put your health on the back burner. Get yourself involved in a program that's designed for your issues. Okay, at this time in your life, we'll be right back. <laughs> 